Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss a very special topic. Uh, why I call this as a very special topic because I normally did not talk about this topic. If you follow some of my webinar before and you notice me talk a lot about career progression or wealth generation, business or self-improvement. Okay, so today I'm not going to talk about that part. I'm going to talk about something very light in nature, uh, very casual but fun. Okay, so why would we choose to talk about this special topic? Because just like every fourth quarter of every year, I receive a lot of questions asking me, what is the outlook for next year? In this case here, they are referring to 2024. There's a lot of questions about like wealth, about health, about relationship, about their career. But also I receive a group of questions that is unconventional that actually different from the norm and the question reads like this is will i get fat in next year okay this is the question that i receive and and of course right i don't believe this uh is predestined that's why i always keep telling people um born fat is a fit yeah but staying fat is a choice do you guys agree okay so but however from chinese metaphysic perspective we sort of like can telling the probability of someone will have a strong eating appetite for next year. And because they have a strong eating appetite and if they cannot control it, then there will be a high chances for them to gain weight next year. Make sense? Okay, so are you interested to learn about this part? Okay, so at least you know, right, what to prepare for next year in terms of gaining weight. So if you uh like the topic i'm going to talk about shortly yeah feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel below so you enjoy more future videos that i will creating okay so do it now and we can uh, start today's session here okay first of all for some of you here um probably this is the first time you're joining me uh, let me share with you a little bit background of myself my name is iverson lee i'm a speaker instructor and consultant specializing in Chinese metaphysics subjects such as like Bata, Qiwen, Feng Shui, Yi Jing, these selections. This is what I'm doing here. So, and I use this uh, metaphysics knowledge to help my students and my clients and myself even to achieve uh, the goals, right, that they have in life and also help them to find true happiness. So, and some of you here might be a beginner and, and if you worry whether you're able to benefit from this video here, rest assured you will. Yeah, because I'm not going to talk about technical part, right? It's just about uh, identifying certain elements in your chart. If you have it, then you might have this kind of uh, outcome yeah, for the year of 2024. Okay, first of all, since we're talking about the topic about weight, right, or body size, and first of all, I want to clarify one thing. It's nothing wrong yeah, of having a bigger size, uh, or bigger size body, right, or some people call this fat. It's nothing wrong with it. So uh, the objective of this video here is not to ask you to lose weight or not to force you to look in certain way all right so this is not the intention of this video here so i think you can be in any size you want as long as you're happy isn't it right so this video here are more for someone who want to lose weight and hopefully if that is their goal for 2024 then they will be able to get some insights from my sharing today okay so i want all of you here to treat this as a educational and fun video all right Okay, so now let's get down to business. Okay, the, the topic here is like this. Um, which animal sign yeah, that can gain weight easily in 2024? Okay, so and a lot of people, if you, are, uh, you have some background about metaphysics, you might think that 2024, which is the year of uh, wood dragon, we only start on February 4th, 2024. Okay, this is uh, most of the people will actually think that is the starting date, right? But if you're a once uh, practitioner, uh, you know that the year of 2024, which is the wood dragon, does not transit in February 4th and it will start early as 7 December this year. All right, so yes, you're correct. Yeah, so that is the date it started. It started off early. 7 of december 2023 that's why i released this video earlier so you can take uh you can make some preparation 
yeah, on what to do next. Okay, so remember the date here, 7 December 2023. All right, cool. So how do we know whether we are susceptible of gaining weight for the year of Wood Dragon or 2024? So I want all of you here to take out your butter chart. Okay, take out your butter chart right now. And I'm going to share it on the screen also, a sample chart here. Now, this, your butter chart will, will look like this. Okay, so as shown on the screen right now. So they are, you notice there are five circles there. And this is where it will actually have the animal signs. If you look at your own chart right now, these are the places that are where all the animal signs reside. All right, so if you look at the diagram right now, there are five circles there. Okay, so later on, I'm going to share with you which animal signs you're susceptible of gaining weight for next year. So I want you to check yeah, all the animal signs re uh, that related into these five boxes here. If you have it, means you get it. Okay, you are part of the group. So this is how, uh, it's not that hard, right? So this is how I, uh, you're going to actually detect the chart. So now, I want to look at your own chart right now, identify these five animal signs, and now, uh, without further ado, I'm going to share with you which sign is belong to this uh, fat animal sign in 2024. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, let me show you the first one here. Okay, the first animal sign yeah, that belong to this uh, fat animal sign is ox for 2024 or the year of wood dragon. Okay, so now I want all of you here to check your own chart right now, check your partner chart right now. And check whether do you have this ox animal sign in any of the five boxes that I highlighted just now. Okay, check it out. If you have it, if you have ox in the chart, it could be one, it could be two, it could be all the five boxes. Does not matter. If you have one, it's considered yes. Doesn't matter how many you have. All right, so check right now. So if you have uh, ox animal sign, type in the comment box right now, type the uh, number one there. All right, so I get to know how many of you here actually have this. Okay, great. Now, this is, um, uh, once you have this, uh, what does it mean, right? I think a lot of you also want to know what does it mean. It just means that uh, next year, yeah, your eating appetite will increase, and that is a high probability you're going to gain weight if you don't control it. Okay, so these are one of the signs that you have. So, which means that you auto subscribe to uh, the fat club of uh, 2024 you know there's a fat club all right so <laughs> so which means that you auto subscribe to that club you don't even need to pay membership fees somehow you auto subscribe okay so welcome to the club welcome to the fat club in 2024 okay now so but the thing here is if you don't have it you might think oh okay it's great you know i don't have this sign right so i i would say i wait for a while because there are not only one animal signs that belong to this fat category there are two actually okay there are two so are you ready for the second one okay all right so let me show you what is the second animal sign here so beside the ox animal sign another animal signs that belong to this uh fatty category okay so would be the snake okay all right so how many of you have snake in a chart or snakes more than one okay yeah, there are five places you can check for it again so let me show you yeah the location in your parts chart these are the five boxes which is circled in the red color uh here is where you need to check for the animal sign so right now you should check both either ox or snake you don't need to have two at the same time uh, to qualify for that membership all right so either one will auto subscribe you already to the fed club of 2024 so now check again so either could be in a year here or it could be in the month or day or hour or the luck pillar here there are only five places or the boxes that you can check uh, other than that, it's not relevant. Understand now? Okay, so now check now whether you have it or not. <laughs> some of you have it, some of you don't. Right? So, and then you might be wondering, okay, is that matter how many I have? 
Yeah, of course, right? If I've won, the chances is not that high. Yeah, is there's the still a tendency there that you actually uh, might eat a lot. Yeah, but the, the, the chances here might not be as high. Uh, what if you have two out of five? Then it's, it's, I mean, it's higher, right? Okay, how many of you here have uh, two out of five? Type the word two. If you have three out of five, type the word three. If you have four, type the word four. If you have uh, uh, five out of five, type the word five. Okay, so there's a, it's like a packing order, right? The, the more you have, you know, the higher chances. Uh, you go to gain weight for next year. All right. If you have, you don't have any of the two animal sign I mentioned just now. Type the word zero in the comment box right now. Okay. Let me see. All right. Okay. So if you have five, then I will say uh, you have four. I think it's is quite uh, the chance is quite high already. It's already reached the borderline of uh, you're going to gain a lot of weight. So maybe if you have four out of five, you can qualify for the gold membership of the Fat Club of 2024. And by the way, how many of you have five out of five? Okay, that one is no gold membership already. What do you call that? Platinum membership. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that is the highest level you can get. Okay, so this is how you can check the fattiness of the chart for 2024. Okay, check your chart right now or check your partner chart or whoever. <laughs> that you're concerned about, check that chart, what is their chances, right? If you have five, right, you might think, oh, okay, I don't like this, right? So what is the solution? Yeah, one of the solution here is, yeah, there are two ways. Yeah, there are two solutions. Let me tell the first one. The first solution here is to wait, okay? Because this reading is for 2024 only, right? So you just need to wait until 2024 over. Then you try to write 2025 chart, see whether you still have this or not, right? So you need to wait. But I don't think waiting is a strategy, correct or not, right? So then, how do we solve this issue? You have a lot. Type the word uh, me if you have uh, more than two of these fatty animal signs in your chart. Yeah, type in the chat box right now. I want to see who you are. Okay. Wow, so many of you. Nice. Okay. So now, beside waiting, which uh, obviously is not the best strategy, I think another way here is you need to know where do you get this fat from, right? If you know the cause, you can solve the problem. Make sense? So because everyone here might get fat for different reason. There are some people they didn't exercise, some people because they go to a lot of parties, some people because they are not happy, then they, they, they eat a lot, right? There are so many reasons. So based on your chart, as you can tell the reason, if you're going to get fat in 2024, what likelihood is the causes is? Okay, they want to learn how. Okay, first of all, you need in this only for those who have either the ox animal signs or the snake animal sign. All right, if you don't have it, this is not related to you, right? Of course, you can learn it so you can help others. So, first of all, if you have either snake or or this are uh, ox in the chart, so you need to know where it's located. Remember, just now I mentioned there are five possible locations you can uh check on the animal sign. So it, if the animal signs is in the year pillar, right? So either the snake or the ox in the year pillar. How many of you here, you, you're in your year pillar, you have the snake or ox animal sign. So let me share with you first, where is the year pillar? Okay, so if you look at the chart here, the year pillar is here. Okay, yeah, this is the year pillar, right? So therefore, this is the part uh, that uh, is, if it's belong here, there's a different meaning, basically. All right. So this is the month. This is the day. This is the hour. And then this is the luck pillar. Okay. There are five. So let's talk about the year first. Now, how do I know this is a year? Because it's written year here. Okay. So now tell me, how many of you have this uh, snake or ox in the year pillar? So which means here you either have an uh, ox or snake. <laughs> How many of you here have this? Okay, type me if you have this. So what does it mean? So now, uh, if it's having in the year, uh, year pillar, it means one thing. It means that the reason you eat a lot in 2024 is because you go to a lot of parties, a lot of social gathering, a lot of traveling. Of course, you eat a lot while you travel, right? 
And or maybe a lot of people want to buy you lunch or dinner and you have no choice but accepting those invitations and therefore you tend to eat more yeah, than your usual meal. Okay, so a lot of your uh, overeating are due to uh, social invitation, gathering, parties. Okay, so or maybe your friend's birthday, suddenly all your friends invite you or maybe a lot of friends um, that, that they actually get married this year, they invite you to their wedding dinner. It could be. All right. So is that in the year? So now, if you have this fatty animal signs in the month pillar, you have having a month pillar, it means um, the reason you eat a lot, very likely due to uh, your work stress or pressure in your work. Okay. And um, so the food will, will act as a defense mechanism. Uh, and it might lead to emotional eating. Yeah, when you're stressed, you tend to eat more. You have pressure, you eat more. So you you sort of like you want to actually balance your emotion, right? You feel better after eating. So uh, unknowingly, you eat more than usual, or you might eat some unhealthy food. And in long run, uh, in few months, you accumulated to become extra fat. Okay. So therefore, if you have it in the month pillar, then I would say my advice to you here is learn how to manage your stress. That would be good, right? So when you have you have uh, able to do that effectively, manage your emotion, then very unlikely you will actually uh, get into emotional eating. Okay, cool. That one is in the man pillar. So what if? What if that fatty animal signs resides in your day? The day pillar? So if you're having the day pillar, which means that it's a good thing, by the way, because you're more positive this year, you think a lot of happy things. So you tend to eat more naturally because you're happy, you're positive, you're optimistic. Uh, just like, just I want to recall back, you know, the during the moment you fall in love, right? Don't you, uh, can you recall back during that time you tend to eat more because you're happy, right? Yeah, you feel like, you know, you're on top of the world. That's why I see when people that, that actually are uh, in love, they tend to gain weight, right? So this the month is about stress, but in the day is because they are happy. Okay, they are carefree. So and that that is the cause of it, right? If you have in a day. So now, if you look at the hour, how many of you have the fatty animal signs, which is either the snake or the ox in the hour pillar? So if you have it in the hour pillar, it means one thing. It means that you become the food itself. Okay, you become the food. Then you might think, uh, what, what is Iverson talking here? Right? What, what do I mean that I become the food? Uh, because one thing, because when you're having the hour pillar, in parts, our pillar represent thinking. Okay, so which means that you think about food all the time. 24-7. Even when you're sleeping, you dream about food. Okay, have you heard about a word that say that who, what you think is who you become? Okay, so because you keep thinking about food, Right, and then you obsess with with food. You eat a lot. Then maybe you eventually you look like hamburger or pizza. Okay, yeah, because you eat too much because you obsess with eating. Okay, remember the hour pillar represents your thinking. You keep thinking about food. So do you want to look like pizza? No, do you like to look like a hamburger? If you're not, control the thoughts. Okay, all right. So now this leaves us with the uh the fifth location. So may I share with you again, where is the fifth location? The fifth location is here. Okay. Yeah. This is at the bottom here. This we, uh, we regard this as luck pillar in parts of study. So the luck pillar, luck pillar represent external environment. Okay. So when you have the snake or the ox in the luck pillar, so which means that you, the reason you eat more than usual because you got influenced by the external sources, you know, like environment, so such as a billboard advertisement, they advertise about uh, a food, a burger, or whatever, and or maybe you influenced by advert in social media, also external. Okay, so of course, external does not just means like social media and billboard. External could means your circle of friends too. So think about this, right? Um, there's a joke people uh, talk about, right? If you surrounded yourself by someone that is fatter than you, and by comparison, you look slimmer. Do you know that? Okay. I'm sure you're not as slim, but all your friends are fatter than you, right? So, and because you have this illusion that you keep thinking you're slimmer, then you tend to eat more. Make sense? Okay. So you need to. 
then get out of this delusion state if you have it in the love pillar. Okay. All right. So do you like this content? Yeah, it's not that hard, right? Learning parser. So if you like what I shared so far, yeah, feel free to actually subscribe to my YouTube channel below here. And you can actually uh, able to watch all my future videos that I'm going to film, uh, talk about uh, parser. I may talk about other exciting stuff as well. Okay. All right. Do you want more? Do you want to learn more right now? Okay. All right. So if you want to learn more, um, I'm going to share with you one more thing here. It's about the oops moment all right so when normally we say the word oops which means that you screw up right so yeah, like just imagine after you understand this right but somehow you still eat a lot you know you 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 still uh, like nobody business and sooner or later you know you mess up right when you look in front of the mirror you cannot even recognize yourself anymore right so these are the oops moment so when let's say or i can call this a, a contingency plan right so let's say you did uh, become as what uh, predicted in this video and then or maybe i i think it's fine because now we are nearing to the year end right that is uh, christmas coming and then for, for those who are in uh, asia chinese they're going to celebrate chinese new year as well right so i say right, why bother eat first or not right so let's say you don't bother you eat first don't you think you can actually have a diet plan after the festive season Right? If you celebrate Christmas or New Year, you can have a diet plan or exercise plan after that, right? You eat first, you enjoy first. I think life is also about enjoyment, right? Not just about restricting your intake, right? So I would say you can enjoy first, right? Then later you do something about it. Make sense? So and um, in order to help you out, if that is your strategy, and I'm going to share with you uh, one thing here I think might be beneficial to all of you here is uh, it's like this. I'm going to share with you this uh, discipline booster dates. All right. So you can have more discipline to exercise your diet plan, your exercise plan after festive season, after you put whatever you want inside your stomach to a stage that you can't take it anymore. Then now you, 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 you feel that you want to make a change. I will give you some dates here. And when you use the right dates, you know, uh, to, to start your diet program or exercise program, uh, you, you have more discipline. Uh, how, how do you want, do you guys want more discipline? Yeah, more willpower, right? And more consistency, more importantly, right? So if that is what you want, you know, or maybe all this while you keep giving up on your diet plan, you don't know why you just give up yeah, after two weeks, then hopefully with the good days, able to boost your discipline energy further. Okay, so here, let me share with you. I have prepared uh, some dates for you to kickstart your program. So let me show you. Okay, for this discipline booster dates here. So one of it is this. Okay, uh, uh, this is post Christmas and New Year. Uh, this is for those people that celebrate Christmas and New Year, especially from the uh, Western region of the world. Right. So therefore, that will, uh, these are the date for you. Right. So after, because last time I just put the date uh, after Christmas and they tell me I wasn't, yeah, that one is, is too quick. I still need to enjoy New Year. All right. So now I'm going to make a date after Christmas and New Year. If you want to kickstart a diet program or exercise program or engage a personal trainer, make sure you kickstart the program on this date, 22nd of January, 2024. All right. Okay, drop this down here. And so to some of you here, especially in my country, I live in Malaysia, I'm Chinese, I celebrate Chinese New Year, right? So my eating feast does not end after New Year, okay? Because there's a Chinese New Year in February, right? So if you're celebrating Chinese New Year and then you still want to enjoy your food and eat a lot, then I suggest a date after Chinese New Year, which is 20th of February, 2024, to kickstart your diet program and by using this date that I uh, specially uh, selected, I curated all this date here. The whole purpose of this date here is to increase your willpower. Okay, so you can be consistent in achieving your goal. In this case here, it's about uh, uh, getting rid of some of the, uh, I would say, uh, fat of, uh, out of your body. Okay. So remember the date here will not magically remove your fat. 
the dates here help you to have more discipline so you can carry on your your diet uh, program or your exercise program consistently okay cool do you like this piece of information right do you think that actually uh, learning metaphysics is fun yeah it's not a uh, very uh, dry topic actually no there's a lot of new ways you can actually uh, apply from metaphysics into your daily life right so now let me ask all of you here how many of you here would like to learn more about chinese metaphysics content type the word me in the comment box okay let me see who you are okay right because there's so many ways we can apply metaphysics and i like to do it like that because you know even a beginner can benefit from it isn't it okay so if you like to do this and if you are because there's so many subjects i can share with you like anti-aging how many of you want to actually reverse aging okay or how many of you here want to increase courage in your life you know that a lot of things you didn't get because your lack of courage yeah it could be right and how many of you want to increase your confidence or more importantly how many of you want to achieve success in 2024 you want to learn more of this uh this chinese metaphysics application for free so there are two resources you can actually get into let me show you uh where to get this okay you can screenshot of this you can actually get more exciting free content how to apply metaphysics from two uh, of my channel uh one of it is an uh, instagram channel so iversely.com slash instagram and another one if you want to learn more about manifestation or achievement you know how do you actually uh turn in visible into uh visible i would say that you can also join my telegram channel both of them are free so it's resides in iversonly.com telegram okay so this is where you can keep in touch with me stay connected and hopefully you can benefit a lot of the techniques i'm going to share in these two channels especially for the next few months okay all right so i hope you enjoy uh, today's sharing here is about the fatty chinese zodiac forecast in 2024 okay so feel free to share this information share this video to your friends and your family that can help them to become better in 2024 right so and also uh if you want to keep updated with all the videos subscribe to my youtube youtube channel right now so you get notified on all the new upcoming videos okay i hope everyone here achieve a great success in 2024 and beyond i'm iverson lee I will see you soon. Bye-bye.